Is the Prime Minister of Finland a crazy party girl? Do you speak Finnish already? Is Finland building a border wall? I'm not gonna pay for that wall. Rauhoitu. Calm down. Listen. No. Hello, moi, uusi päivä, uudet kujet. So welcome back, how are you doing? If you are watching this video from the toilet, remember to wash your hands. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe and the like button. If you are subscribed, just hit the like button. If you identify as both, hit the like button. It doesn't matter, just hit the like button. So YouTube recommends the video more. Let's jump right in. So these are five common questions I am getting lately from my friends about Finland. Number one. Is the Prime Minister of Finland a crazy party girl? Sana Marin. Sana Marin. Sana Marin. Sana Marin. Lately, the Prime Minister of Finland has been in the news for all of the wrong reasons. And she has jumped in popularity in social media. If you don't know Sana Marin, Sana Marin is the youngest Prime Minister in the history of Finland. She took office when she was just 34 years old, like me. I don't mean that I am the Prime Minister of England. What I mean is that I am the same age. Sanna Marin was all over the news because of some videos that were leaked. In these videos, Sanna can be seen partying with famous social media celebrities of Finland. Some social media stars from Finland even posted topless pictures inside of the bathroom in the official residences of the government. She was also seen partying and getting really close with some famous Finnish guy. Sanna Marin has defended herself, saying that the guy was just telling something to her ear. I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert in human anatomy, but I believe that's not where the ears are. <laughs> anyway, Sanna has said that she was on vacation and she's a young girl and she has all her rights to do what young girls do. And I agree with that, but if you are the prime minister of a country and you are representing the whole country, then you should know better. And I feel sorry for her because she didn't post those videos. Some of these friends posted those videos. Sanna should have kept that part of her life, life private. For sure, many other prime ministers have had the same kind of things, but now in the social media age, these things can happen. She should keep that private. There is a war going on. The neighbor of Finland is Russia. We have Putin next to us. Finland still has not been accepted to NATO. So this kind of public relationship kind of things are really affecting the image of Finland uh, or how the world sees Finland. And it's, it's not the right moment for this, unfortunately for Sanna Marin. So, but you know, if Sanna Marin invites me to those parties, I will go. Question number two. Do you speak Finnish already? Yo, tottaka, mä oon asunu Suomessa jo yli kus vuotta. Joten oon oppinu Suomea vaan lukkemalla uutisi. Suomessa on hyviä artikkelettia vai mitä? Okei, okay, läppä oli. Mä kusetin teitä, en osaa näi hyvin Suomea. Kaikki mitä puhun, Janna on käyttynyt ja mä opettelin ulkoa. On hyvä. Papukaija. Voin kyllä käydä ihan perus keskusteluja suomeksi. Mun isoin ongelma on se, suomalaiset on tosi hyvin koulutettuja ja osaa englantia. Seuraava kysymys. By the way, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking in the forest and maybe a bear will come or a... I don't know. Question number three. I'm not gonna pay for that wall. Is Finland building a border wall? Yes and no. Many media outlets from all over the world have reported that Finland is currently building a border wall. Well, it's just a proposal at the moment. Finland has 1,300 kilometers of border with Russia. It's around 800 miles 
for people watching from United States. And the total fence, however, is not going to cover all of this border. It's just going to cover around 260 kilometers, something like 150, 160 miles. The border at the present time doesn't have any fence and anyone from Russia can just cross by walking into Finland, which is something I don't recommend you because if the winter doesn't kill you, then the border guard will catch you. Anyway, they always do. So they have asked me, what do I think about it? Good. I think it's a good thing. What is wrong with protecting our country from illegal entry? Why should we allow people to cross borders illegally? You cannot tell if it's a person that is really in need of help or it's just someone, someone that wants to carry drugs across the border or someone that committed a crime and is running away. So what is the problem with a border wall? I don't know. It's not hurting anyone. Just protecting the citizens of the country. Next question. Is Finland in danger? Is Finland going to be attacked by Russia? People are taking iodine tablets because of the risk of nuclear war. Are you safe there? Is Finland without electricity? Oh no, are you still alive? Rauhutu. Calm down. Listen. No. Russians are not going to invade Finland. Russians cannot invade Finland. No offense to my Russian friends at all, but the internal corruption of the Russian army has stripped away all the strength that that once glorious army used to have. Russian soldiers are being sent to the front without even bullets, without even basic survival supplies, without anything to treat their wounds. They have been asked that they could request from their girlfriends and wives to give them tampons to put in bullet wounds. That famous convoy that was going to take Kiev ran out of fuel midway and had to turn back. Russian soldiers themselves don't want to fight the war. Many are being just forced. Even that flagship of the Russian Navy called Moskva was sank. And why? Because all of the contracts given over the years to maintain and upgrade Moskva were fake. I mean, the contracts were given, the money was given, but nothing was done. So the ship was not prepared for any special operation. So I don't think the Russian army is in any condition to attack one of the countries in Europe with the best prepared army and the most up-to-date technology. By the way, can you hear anything? Because I can't. creepy forest and last question how can you live in a country that is so cold how can people live there how can they go to work how can they do anything and I have one answer it's gloves scarves jackets and that's all you need I will try to find my way out of this forest if I don't post any video Come search for me, maybe I'm still here stuck. So, subscribe, like, and moi moi.